Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Northgard here in 2021. So, my brother recommended this game. I picked it up on Steam for sale, and I'm really excited to give it a shot. I think, for me, what I'd like to do is just dive into story mode and see how this plays to teach me the game and then get into the single player uh, where it'll probably be more like a random map civilization style is what I'm guessing but I really don't know I'm playing this game blind uh, my brother told me a little bit but other than that uh, I don't know much at all so here we go Story mode. Um, let's replay the story. Act one. Let's get this monologue um, because I think I skipped it accidentally. I am Rig, son of the High King Hargurorf, and this is my saga. Okay. It all began one fateful day. Mm hmm. My father had gathered all his yards to make an announcement of the utmost importance. We were to embark for the wondrous lands of Northgard. Riches, conquest, and glory awaited us on this mysterious new continent. Sounds good. But the Norns had other plans for us. Mm. Dozens of armed men suddenly poured into the hall and put an abrupt end to our ambitions and to our lives. Whoa, it's got dark. They were mercenaries led by a man named Hagen from the clan of the Raven. Hmm, jerk. In a matter of minutes, we were all slaughtered like sheep. How are you speaking? All but me, Ah. barely conscious and vastly outnumbered. I had no way to fight back. So I feigned death. That's cool. I see that as he I'd stole the, same. the map of Northgard and ripped the regal horn from my father's throne. That's the awful. family heirloom and the very symbol of our royalty. This guy's gotta pay. I had to avenge my father and reclaim my kinghood. Let's do it. Let's, let's avenge your father. Okay, so, very interesting beginning, I get it, we want to explore this new territory, get riches, glory, all that fun stuff, uh, but we were ambushed by the Raven Clan in the midst of our little council meeting there, and butchered, so I've got lots of motivation. Um... And let's go back and see what's going on. So, Chapter 1, Exodus. Okay. So, I'm maybe this is Northgard and I'm getting ready to set sail? I don't know. We'll find out. We have safely escaped to a remote region. We must now reach the shores of Northgard. Bonus objective. Um... Bonus objectives will be revealed once you've completed a chapter for the first time. Ah, so you get some kind of uh, incentive to play the scenario more than once. Brand, I guess this is me, proud and noble at heart. The bannerman of the Stag Clan is a loyal man who lives and fights with honor, except when he's feigning death, I suppose, but that's cool. Nothing matters more to him than his people's well-being. He is faithful to you as his father was to yours. Oh, maybe this isn't me. Maybe this is my dude instead. And is willing to help you exact your revenge and conquer Northgard. All right, it's great. This is good. Good to have a loyal person on my side. And I like his yellow coat. Let's see what's this. Brand, the clan of Stag. Um, so if you have him, you start with 75 extra food, 75 wood, 75 crowns and 40 lore. The Hall of Scalds replaces the brewery and produces additional fame. Okay. Fame bonuses. Um, supplies. Once we get 200 fame, I guess, we get some 
like a shipment of supplies with a bunch of resources and then if we get 500 um, we get an extra 10% production bonus and all production is increased by a flat 1% for every 100 fame interesting so they're putting me on hard difficulty uh, which I guess is there's normal hard and extreme so I guess normal is easy and hard is normal I don't know this is the default, so let's give it a shot. I had no strength left when I encountered a group of runaways of the Stag clan, led by a proud young man named Bram. Cool, okay, this explains it. Hagen's men had set his town aflame, and he had nothing left. Not even his father, the clan's Jarl, who had died at the hands of the fiend, just like mine. We've got a lot in common, then. Our common enemy had sailed for Northgard, over which he now had a map. He's got All the map. All I could think about was finding him to avenge my father and retrieve the regal horn. Let's do it. Okay. Cool, here we are. Glad to see you back on your feet, my lord. I'm surprised how fast you recovered. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Rig. I suppose Rage is an excellent healer. It is. It does wonders. Still, we've wasted enough time already. We must go after Hagen as soon as possible. Yeah, let's get this jerk. Indeed. Time is of the essence. Our camp is far from the enemy, but we are marooned in an unknown province on the outskirts of your kingdom. I shall prove myself worthy of their trust. However impatient I am to get even with that scum, my priority is to ensure their survival. That's nice. That's good. Let's keep the people alive. Brand, very good. Your restraint does you honor. Besides, None of us will be getting revenge if we starve to death first. A wise man. Speaking of which, there will be no shortage of mouths to feed, so let us seek out food. Wood is also a vital resource, being used for both heating and construction. We must also leave the continent and set sail for Northgard. We shall need a proper shore to go out to sea. Okay. You are quite right. I suggest you instruct villagers to build a scout camp and assign them as scouts so that they may explore the region. Alright, so this looks like a tutorial, which makes sense considering I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's learn how to do stuff. Getting started. Fame. You're in a safe, remote area. Your goal here is to meet the basic survival needs of your clan. Food wood and houses be sure to assign scouts so that they can explore the region and then expand your territory by colonizing nearby areas find a shore to embark in search of undiscovered lands so this is cool um and then it says up here click the build button to construct a building select any spot in the area to place the building okay um and then up here it looks like all right, so let me just say, first of all, I like the cartoony look of the game. It's nice. Something like, uh, you know, Torchlight and uh, Warcraft mixed together in the appearance. And while it's got the 4X feel of civilization in terms of, you know, resources and scouting and things like that it's actually way more it's an rts um so i didn't realize that and i'm learning as i go okay so let's see uh click to build button okay let's do it build b and we need to build something so let's i guess make a place for scouts So we can put this anywhere. 
Hmm. All right, well, let's just build a scout camp, right? Here. Whatever. And this lets us assign your villagers to become scouts who can explore new areas. Empty for the greater part of the year. All right, so they're building it. And then, let's see, anything else we need to build a house? Well, that seems important. Your building is ready. So click to select a villager. Um, and then select a unit and right-click on the scout camp to turn your villagers into scouts. So her name is Frifkerd. I'm saying that horribly wrong. And she's working on gathering food. And she is ready to work. A great Warcraft reference. Um, she does 5 attack, she has 4 resistance, and she has 50 health. But Frifgird, I need you to go here to become a scout. And she's running over there to do just that. So now she's turned into a scout, and it says she explores new areas. And so it looks like she's just going to like auto-explore. Yeah, she's going over there to, to remove the fog of war, I suppose. Um, I need woodcutters to produce wood. Build a woodcutter's lodge and turn one of your villagers into a woodcutter. Okay. Here's a woodcutter's lodge. Sure. Let's put it right here by the trees. Well. Oh. Yeah. There you go. And she found a new area. So this part of the map has been revealed. And it says they found a new area, which is over here. And it looks like there's like wheat on this. Meaning like either I can gather that or I can grow it. I'm not sure, but... Oh, we need more houses. Okay. So, let's build a house. Sure. That's beachfront property right there. Now, how many people do I have? I have, what, six population? Okay. Construction of Woodcutter's Lodge is complete. So, you, Otter, can I make you a woodcutter? There you go. He runs off, and... He's going to just get wood for us because our wood gathering is not very good. Um, now we can get up to 11 population because um, we built another house. To expand your territory, you need to colonize the new area using food. Click on the area and spend some food to colonize it. So I've clicked on this. And it says down here in the lower right, colonize for 20 food. I have 377, which seems like a lot. So we're going to work on colonizing that. And it takes time. In the meantime, I'm going to build another house. Um, it takes 50 wood. And let's just try to get some more people. I don't know if you recruit the people automatically or what's going on here. What are you doing? Your brand. So you just defend this base. You're like my hero, I guess. Alright. Fair enough. Um, oh, okay. And then now it says develop area. Increases the number of possible buildings in this area. And it says only once. But I, to do that, I needed a woodcutter, four villagers, and brand. So we can start developing it. And I guess we did instantly develop it. And then, um, we need houses over here. You can build fields here and recruit farmers. Oh, okay, so let's do that. Um, let's build, a, a field, I guess, right on top of that. And then let me build, um... Oh, I don't know if anybody's gonna go over there, because there's no people. Can I send you, like over there to do that I guess so my scout is moving along finding dangerous enemies on the map okay my lord reconnaissance of the area has revealed an abandoned cottage perhaps we should order a scout to search it they might be able to salvage some resources Agreed. We will have to colonize the area before they can explore the ruins, however. Interesting. Okay. Um, Alright, well, can we colonize it? Yeah, 40 food? Sure, do it. Now... How do I get more... It looks like I got some people. 
and I can build training camps and turn one of my people into a warrior. Okay, so let's build then in this area. Let's build... Oh, I have no wood. I'm like destitute with respect to, to wood. So, who are you? What are you doing? You're not doing... Oh, no, I guess you're gathering food. Can you become a, a lumberjack? We need we need wood more than we need food. Our food food is fine. Uh, okay, and then somebody is maybe gonna work that field someday. Can you do this? Year one, October. You should prepare for winter. Well, that sounds smart. Okay. Build a training camp. Well, can I now build a training camp? I can build a healer's hut, a house, and here's a training camp. Let's build it. I don't know, let's build it here, I guess. Whatever. Now this person's growing food. Hmm, the air is getting colder. Winter is almost upon us. Indeed, my lord, we should expect food to be scarcer, and our people will consume more firewood to heat their homes. Our military troops will also be weakened by the cold. It might not be the best time to fight. Okay. Let's not fight, then. It's cold. Oh, I'm maxed out on food. Okay, well then, here, go become a... Well... It's not quite what I meant, but... Here. Can you help with that? No. What can I build? Nothing. Alright, well, I've, I've got too much food. I need to have this person become a warrior or something. Once that's done... There you go. Become a warrior, please. You. Can you also become a warrior? Yeah, there we go. Now we got some warriors. And it says two out of two. So we're doing okay. Um, I can't upgrade that because I don't have enough wood. Um, ooh, I see it's winter. Yeah, the ground has been covered in snow. That's not good. Um, can I colonize this? Yeah, that's what I should be spending food on. That was dumb. Should just be colonizing every bit of this area. <laughs> All right. Um, select your warrior and right-click on the area occupied by foes to attack them. Okay. Can I select both of them? I can. And then can I make them like a unit or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, go over here. They said this. What is this? My lord, one scout claims to have found a suitable coast for the construction of a port. Excellent. We should colonize the area leading up to this shore so that our builders can reach it and get to work. I see. Select your warrior and right-click on foes to attack them. Right, right, right. Where are my warriors? Um, where'd they go? They're here. Oh, okay. Well, then, how can I select my scout, I wonder? Uh, maybe I can just say... Scout, and then just say, can you, like, visit this? And then, warriors, um, can you go here and fight stuff? I guess there's a bunch of wolves. Can you go get them? I hope so. Please don't die. You're doing okay. This warrior is about to die. Can I? No, he died. Well, um, <laughs> maybe I should have learned from what they were saying and not gone to fight during the winter. I, uh, I cost my people everything there. All right, let's build something. Let's build, um... Let's build a healer's hut and just get that online. 
And then you can go become a warrior. We need some more of them. Scout. What happened? Did you... Oh, you're doing this. It's, you're exploring the house. Okay. And then... Hopefully, we're getting out of winter at some point. We're at negative four on food because of the consumption. So, at one point, we were at like a big surplus. And then now, um, we've been ruined. So, that's good to know. Uh, can you, after you drop off this food... Let me find one of these villagers once they're done with their food. Yeah, can you go become a healer? Beware, you're under attack. Okay, let me send my warriors over here. What do you mean I'm under attack? By who? By these wolves? Get him. Whatever this garbage is. Happiness is of paramount importance. Do not let it fall below zero. Okay, great. So we got 100 wood and 100 gold from the house. Keep, keep it as high as you possibly can. Okay. Um, our population is hurting our happiness, but our territory is helping. With two happiness, one new villager will join our clan every 34 days. So that must be what dictates how they join the clan. Um, can you go become a healer? And then let's go ahead and build the, the Hall of Scalds because um, we need happiness. And then, let me also build a house. Oh, this area needs upgraded or whatever. Develop it. And then, can we now build a house here? There. Alright, so now they've healed because they're... I'm guessing the warriors healed over time from being in our territory. So let's see if we can go take out these baddies. Yeah, we're we're much better at fighting when it's not winter. Let's see if every are they all gone? No, this guy's over here. Oh, they have a whole den. Oh no. No, I think we should run. I don't think we have it in us just yet to take out the den. Um, let's see here. Let's colonize that. And then these things are being built. Do we have any... Nobody's ever idle. Like, they'll just go to generic food production. But um, can you build this? And then you, can you build that? I forgot I had to get I had to tell people to actually build these things. It's they won't the people won't move from the little territories one to the other. You have to kind of do that for them. Your territory is under attack. Where? I don't see it. Up here? Ah. Oh I see. I need to defend myself. Okay, let's go fight him. Did we get it? I mean, yeah, we did. So we've taken this small bit of area, but this this place is very, very well defended. So what I probably want to do is build another one of these fighty fight places so that I can build even more. Oh, there's another abandoned place. Let me select my scout. Oh, who's like, this guy's trying to do this or... It's actually a girl. She's doing that. That's fine. Um, you're done with the Hall of Skulls. Great. Did we get a skull? No. But what did you do when you were done with that? You're just going to go over here? No, no, no. Become a skull. Or no. Yeah, go become a skull. Sorry. My fault. Let's get one skull going. And then I don't know what you do. Um, skulls help with your happiness. And so we got a bonus for just having a scald. And now we get people faster, maybe? I don't know. Um, 
our food production is okay. This territory has cannot get any more buildings. So let's go ahead and just select some random person and have you come over here. And I'm going to build a... Um, oh, a hunter's lodge. That sounds fun. It requires deer. Let's build it over here then. Never mind. Take back everything I said and build this. This should be a great way to get food. A better path to food than the one that we have anyway, right? Okay, and then from here, let's see if these warriors can go take do some damage in this space. Okay, we're running. We're going to run because that warrior was getting spanked. It looks like they don't regenerate health, though, and we do, so maybe we can exploit that. My scout was hurt. Okay, here. Come back here, scout. Go to this. And look at that house. Alright, you're recovering. Very good. And then... Here, you. Can you go become a scald? We need happiness. And what are you? You're the healer? She's healing the warrior. Oh, wow. She can heal them from afar. Now, that I did not realize. So, that's why the warriors were healing so avidly is because of my healer. I need another one, then. That's really interesting. Okay, run. Run. We'll get you guys. You just wait. Uh... Here, you. Can you become a healer? No, you can't. We don't have enough space. Okay. Um, well, somebody go do this. I forgot that I had to tell somebody to do that. Um, where's my scout? No, 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 come back. I need you to look at this. Why can't you get that? Can you go get it? Yeah, go get this damaged how oh i have to colonize this area i didn't realize it wasn't colonized whoops i guess it's not glowing yellow over here that's me being an idiot hey no why are you why are you walking this way what are you doing scout oh because yeah okay just come over here just do this thank you all right warriors let's go back in let's fight and we're running we're chipping away. All right, Hunter. Um, good. Hopefully they stock up. Oh, no, no. Become a hunter, please, please. Yes, sorry. Beware you are under attack over here. Oh, I see that. Um, here, run away. Here, warriors come down here. Kill this thing. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Man. This is tough. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do then is... Just... Uh, can I pause the game? Yeah, alright. So let me look at this. So I'm gathering food pretty well. And I'm gathering wood decently. I'm losing money horribly so i don't really know how to do anything about that um a food silo increases our maximum food capacity that seems really good so let's put a silo in over here and then let me send some people up there to go deal with that so you can come build this and then um can you come become a hunter and then you warriors, where are you guys at? Here? Can you come, like... Let's try to kill one of these weaker wolves. See how that goes. Probably badly, but let's just try to kill one of them. You did it, now run away. Run away. And they won't cross the territory line, so we can be cowardly. 
and the scout is done exploring that house and it gave us a bunch of extra resources which is tremendous so let me then um like you can you become not what you are can you build something better than that yeah let's build some more military people please and then can we develop this area yeah we can and then it's winter time so we're losing everything we're losing firewood to heat the homes we're losing food because it's winter and we're losing money still um, but anyway our healers or I mean our, our warriors are back at full strength so let's go fight again and see if we can take this guy out before he takes us out I think we got it actually can we go what is this gonna take I don't know what this means. Um, oh, we have to... Wolves will spawn here until we claim it. I get it. Okay. Well, then, let's just like try to colonize it. I'm going to go back to my own territory to heal my warrior. You have destroyed a wolf den and gained 30 fame and 5 rock. Great. Increase your fame and be proclaimed king of Northgard. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Although I don't see the fame, it just says zero. So I'm not understanding that yet, but anyway, I digress. Let's see. Um, so let me select some just regular villagers and say, can you please become specialized? Go become a, a warrior. And then you, uh, Let's go do some other stuff. So let's look over here. So um, we need to build stuff. So let me build. Oh man, we need a house badly. Okay, so somebody build this. Um, villager, come do this. If you're just a regular villager, and then warriors, we're under attack. Where? here? Did they spawn a wolf? Yeah. Here it is. Go get it. Uh-oh. I can't pay my building upkeep. Well? How am I... What building makes me money? Trade. Ah. Alright. Well. I'm losing money. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's... I guess that happens. So our scout place is catching on fire because we don't have the money. That's miserable. Uh, let's claim some new territory, I guess. Oh, we don't have enough food. Hmm. That didn't go well. All right, well, we finished the house, so we can get some more people. Um, can you build... What do we need primarily? You know what we need is uh, woodcutters. And then... Didn't I... Don't I have three warriors, or do I only have two? Oh, I need to be taking this guy in the warband. Whoops. Alright. Now we've got a real warband. So let's go take the big warband over here. And now that I have enough food, I'm going to attempt to colonize this once I can clean it out. Let's get him. Oh, yes. Colonize it. Terrific. And then... Alright, so you're done. Can you become a woodcutter? 
I'm out of happiness. That's a shame. Who's this guy? Oh, it's my scout? Um, you're... Oh, they're chilling because there's nothing they can do. So let's, um... We'll, 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 we'll colonize this soon enough, but we don't have the food to do that. So... I mean, the good news is, looks like there's not going to be any monsters anymore. So to be honest, if that's the case, if there aren't going to be any more baddies spawning, um, can I, like change you to something else the clan is not happy well yeah go become like a woodcutter because of our population well I don't know what to tell you people now the skull the skull place is on fire everything's on fire because I can't pay the upkeep boy this is tough like I this is my first map I didn't know I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. I'm sorry, everybody. Kind of, but not really that sorry. Let's just go ahead and claim this this area then. No, oh, no, they're, they're all gonna cost that much. Maybe it just scales up each time you buy something. I don't know, but uh, okay. The scout is what? Idle because there's nothing for them to do. So let's go just um, I wonder what assigning a person to a house does. Just make them... Does it make them just stay in that area or something? Hmm. I don't know. Well, they do gather food while they're not working. That's at least nice. You're the scald and you're doing nothing. That isn't good. Can we build... Um, like fields anywhere? Uh, uh, okay. I mean, I'm sorry. Alright, good. We now have enough to... At the very least, colonize this. Now, let's colonize this. Let's say forget it. I was going to get that house, but we need to just move to the next area. Our people are furious. All right, can you go become something better than what you are? Um, yeah, go be a, a that, and then you can just go back to the... Over here, I guess, and kind of hang out. And then, can we build a longship house? Perfect. Yeah, build that there. And then, I need just some, like, random villager to come up and do that. Can you assign more than one person to a task? You most certainly cannot. All right. Terrific. Um, well, repair that, I guess. Here, are you doing anything? Can you repair that? I guess we can just use lumber to make up for the fact that we don't have money. That's kind of nice. Well, they're building that. Your clan can't grow because it's unhappy. Yes, it really is unhappy. Uh, we're pulling in good other stuff. You know what we need? Oh, we did it. At last, thanks to your efforts, our clown can now put out to sea. Anchors away, proud Vikings. We sail for Northgard. 
Your end draws near Haken. All right, we did it. We got victory. Boom. And we unlocked an achievement, Chapter 1, Exodus. And we're ready for Chapter 2, Foothold. Well, everybody, um, I think this game is really cool so far. It's there's a lot of depth and complexity and obviously I've got a lot of learning to do with regard to the nuance and maybe there's just not much more I can do given the limited scope of what options are available in the tutorial but I did have fun with this and I'm looking forward to trying more so I will end the episode here and next time we'll begin with chapter 2 I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you guys in the next episode when we actually land on Northgard and begin our quest to avenge our father's demise and take down Hagen. All right, everybody. Take care.